LG has just shown off all of its new gadgets, including the long-awaited G5 smartphone. But will it be enough to put the company on top? We spoke to CNET editors who've seen and played with the new tech to get their first impressions. So with the G5, LG's gone with this weird, uh, customizable, almost modular approach with the design. Do you see that taking off? You know, it's a really clever approach. What LG's trying to do right now is bring back some of the excitement you had customizing your phone with apps, but doing it with hardware, with these, these modular plugins, right? But right now, they've just got two, uh, one a, a high audio system and another a camera grip. So it, it's really going to depend a lot on third-party manufacturers and whether or not they'll actually support it with other modules. And, you know, given that it's not Apple or Samsung, it's unclear whether or not these manufacturers are going to support this phone. I like the change to aluminum body, and I do like the fact that they listen to their fans in the sense that um, a lot of people like that removable battery and the SD card, and they made it so that it's still semi-unibody and pretty looking, but maintains those features that users liked. So I think the show we're going to see a lot of companies pushing VR. Is that something that LG is doing as well? And how successful do you think it's it's been so far, if it is? LG has actually been pretty quiet in the virtual reality front until now. They've put out this new headset, and unlike all the other ones, it doesn't require you to plug in a phone. But the advantage there is it's much, much lighter, so it's, it's easier when you're actually using it. Uh, just plug into your phone via a USB-C cable. You know, the experience is pretty much on par with some of the other experiences, like the Gear VR. Uh, but you know, gear, virtual reality hasn't really taken off with consumers, so this is really just LG putting its stake in the ground. Is there any other stuff from LG that's particularly caught your eye? Anything apart from the smartphone that you think is a really good idea? Glad you asked. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. It's just caught my eye, um, the ball, and they, they corrected me many times because I was used, everybody was using the term ball, it's not a ball, it's a rolling bot. Um, it's a ball that rolls. It's got different features, it's supposed to be able to, you can monitor your house with it, it's got a built-in camera um, that you can access through your phone, you can use it as a remote control as well, and so you can move it around your house, it has an uh, infrared sensor and remote so you can turn on your TV when you're not home. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but you can. Maybe and for your pet. Maybe for your pet. It does have a pet mode, which was kind of random the way this is being advertised because it was advertised as one of the key features and it starts freaking out, pointing lasers, and it's supposed to entertain your pet. I'm thinking it'll really traumatize your pet, but I'd still love to try it out on, on my puppy. So LG is a huge name in technology, but unlike Samsung or Apple, it's never really had its time in the sun with smartphones. It's never been on top of the pile, if you like. Have you seen anything from its uh, new range of products that makes you think that's going to change? LG's biggest weakness is its marketing presence. It does it can't spend as much as Samsung on marketing. It doesn't have the cachet of Apple, and so it has to try a little bit harder. 